Imagine this. You are in the most beautiful and remote corner of the world. It's you and raw nature. Nothing else. Except this. Meet District Hive, a marvel of ingenuity that makes extreme rural tourism accessible for everyone. Welcome to District Hive, guys. The first autonomous, 100% self-sustainable home in the middle of the Spanish Sahara. And that's where this amazing pod comes into its role, because you can literally drop this pod anywhere in the world. It doesn't need water supply, it doesn't need electricity, it doesn't need sewage. It takes care of everything itself. This entire pod is controlled on your phone. As soon as you enter, what you need to do is actually to unlock the door. And I just clicked on this. Wow. <laughs> everything is in the palm of my hand in terms of control. And since I'm a control freak, I love that. This home is the first District Hive prototype that is fully functional. It's located in the Gorafe Desert, north of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Honestly, we didn't even know this place existed. But boy, were we impressed with the landscape when we arrived here. Elon Musk hasn't invited us to Mars yet, but this might just be the next best thing. Anyway, let us show you how smart this home is. Mood light. Boom. Floor light. Boom. Kitchen island floor light. Kitchen island shelf light. Boom. Bathroom light. Bathroom light. There's two of you, Elon. Oh, you wish. I don't wish. You? Don't you? But there are other cool features in this app. For example, you can control the entire fragrance inside this pot. I'm in a mood for some uh, sandalwood, Amelia. The home is of course equipped with AC, so you can keep warm at night and cool by day. Electricity is naturally sourced from the solar panels covering the entire roof. This is essentially a vending machine, but not just any vending machine. This has local produced beers and goods in here and you can actually access them or purchase them by using the app. There are however some free goods hidden in here and some of them are the slippers and the kimonos. Oh, oh my god, is this silk? <gasps> you know, it does say that it's Japanese kimonos. Ta-da! While I was browsing for the food, I actually found all these recommendations that are also in the app about what to see and what to do in the area, which is super cool. Even though we are in the middle of nowhere, we are close to a number of uh, exciting attractions. So we just drove to this tiny little town that is only 12 minutes drive away from the EcoPod. This is actually famous for its dolmens, which is a megalithic single chamber tombstone that they built ten thousands of years ago and they also have cave houses here this place is the perfect contrast to our futuristic home it truly shows how far humans have come in the relentless pursuit of bigger and better. An hour away from Gorafe you have Alhambra another testament to the human capability anyway let's go back to the future who's, who's a man in relationship here tiny San Miguel 0.0, .0 and desperada tequila flavored beer <laughs> But to go back on track, I do want to say that I think you should definitely buy yourself a big basket of food so that you can prepare some nice dinner here because there is a functional kitchen. I think we should put this kitchen to its test. That's kinky. <laughs> so here we are, a magical moment where two people in love get to enjoy superb luxury in an incredibly unique setting. Think about it. We are cooking a delicious meal in a home that a truck dropped off as if it was a 40-foot container going to Hong Kong. There's literally no way to be closer to wild nature while still having the comfortable amenities of modern civilization. So they call this a human charge station. And I can disclose that I already feel charged here. For me, it feels so good to be surrounded by nature only. And you truly are. You don't really build anything or can build anything here because you are in the desert. Being able to put this pot right here at the edge overlooking the Mars landscape. 
it's a bucket list experience. I think that one of the fascinating things about being out here in the middle of nowhere is that you don't have to stay in a primitive eco pod. You're actually staying in something quite luxurious and really nice. I feel like I belong in Black Mirror or something, but in a happy episode. After a long and beautiful day, we went to bed early. That was a good call. Never in our life have we seen such a clear night sky and with zero light pollution. And the following morning, we were greeted with a landscape out of this world. We still couldn't believe we were in Spain. The desert seemed so vast and endless, as if we were in the far center of Australia. Good morning, guys. Oh my god, what a morning. And how amazing is it to wake up here. I gotta tell you guys, the light in this place, when you wake up in the morning, it's magical. Is it difficult, Jon? This is the coolest place to fly FPV. We literally took SpaceX to Mars. Does Mars look like this? Uh, well... In our world it does, right? <laughs> Just <laughs> pretend. It's so fascinating to think about how this desert has been here for millions of years, left to itself, and yet here we are in this tiny speck of time, given the chance to experience something that humanity has never been able to experience before. Oh my god, I love flying! So this pod is actually built and designed by our partner Priyesh, who also makes the super luxurious villas on Madeira we've shown you. For example, these villas on Madeira Island that we are currently building, they can be bought with crypto. The Royal Blockhouse is another next level project with NFT ownership. My point is that Priyesh is a creative genius and obviously it takes one to build a futuristic home like this. The thing is that in natural reserves and in nature parks, you're not allowed to build plumbing and electricity and all that jazz. But with a house like this, you create a whole new future for staying in nature parks because it's essentially like putting up a tent. And I think that is what makes this the future of rural traveling, right? Guys, you might be wondering, how does the toilet work when there's no sewage? Let me show you. This toilet has an incineration system, which means it burns your poop. You open and then every time you have to go, you have to put this down here, like a, when you make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and coincidentally, I actually have to go. And just like that, I'm done. My poop is burning. The poop, the poop is on fire. The <laughs> show. Hvad er en eneste vindue, ikke? Mm. Det ligner sådan det framer et, et maleri eller et stykke kunst. Det er som om man har bjergene lige her. Ja. Even more impressive than the toilet is the shower, because where do you get water from? So the pod has its own atmospheric water assembly system. So it basically just drag it out of the air. It drags out around 100 liter of water a day. So obviously that's not enough for a one hour long shower, but it is enough for two people to shower. It's not just an old school handle like this. No, you have to press. Oh, there we go. The water is warm, 39 degrees. And I can look out while I'm in here. I mean, how incredible is this? Wow. So here you are, away from civilization, away from all the noise and in the hands of mother nature. Everything is beautiful and peaceful. But what do you do here? when you are here. It's electric scooter time. You recharge. It's a human recharge station. Remember? We took our scooters for a nice long drive. We were surprised how many dirt roads there are here. And as it turns out, it's because off-road buggying is a big thing here. Can you imagine just driving to infinity and beyond? Listen, Amelia, listen. To the side. Apparently this whole area is very popular among hikers. So there are trails everywhere here. You can actually walk through the desert here and just get lost out there, you know, in the wild. 
time was ticking and our 48 hours were soon coming to an end. Way too early. We could easily spend an entire week here. We have everything we need. We are living in uncompromised luxury with electricity, water and everything. And it's just extracted free of charge from nature. I, I think that we are witnessing something uh, revolutionizing here because this changes everything. In a world with a relentless focus on sustainable living, it's really hard to come by a better solution than this. District Hive is not only making extreme rural tourism accessible in a beautiful, luxurious format. It's paving the way for the future of intelligent and sustainable living. And with a carbon footprint smaller than how we feel in this vast desert. Alexa, start music. Playing your personalized station, my soundtrack. No, 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 Ale Alexa. Alexa, okay. play copyright free music. She doesn't listen to me. station based on copyright free by Neil Gills. Ad revenue! Alexa, can we trust you? I work hard to give you the best information. Respond to your commands and make Alexa, say something funny. A limbo champion walked into a bar. He was immediately disqualified. I didn't get it. If you could decide on anywhere in the world where you would drop this putt, where would, where it, would be? it be? I mean, this is a pretty good place, but... I think Sapa in Vietnam, Vietnam or Blue Mountains in Australia, or maybe Picurivo in uh, Madeira. I think Madeira, where we live, would be a great place to put it. Adios. If you want to read more about this place or even book it, we have links. Tell, tell, tell